Well, pandas and other rascals, I took your advice. See, remember, some of you mentioned that the, um, the rolling stairs ladder, they're quite valuable. I looked it up and, wow, you weren't kidding. We definitely want it. However, there's a bit of an issue with that now. So, we're gonna do the only thing that makes sense to do. Oh, that means grab all the steel and see how much space we can make. <laughs> Just in case that wasn't clear. And I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. Because there's like a lot in here. Uh, yeah, see these? I don't think these are heavy enough, or thick enough, to classify as, uh, prepared steel. Which is unfortunate, but... Ooh, okay. Gotta be a little more careful with that. But, there's other goodies. See these? Those are something special. This one's really heavy. I guess I don't need to take the plastic off. There is a lot, a lot of metal in here. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a lot of it. But we are certainly going to do our best. Now, getting all the way down to the stairs doesn't really seem likely. But we have to try. So if I keep making this much noise, we're probably going to make some friends. <laughs> but at least we look really official. Okay. This thing's pretty heavy too, but... I don't know. It's mostly the wood that's making it heavy. not metal. Those are acrylic straps. I honestly have no idea what we would do with those. There's so many of them. Oh. You know what? When we get to the yard, we can ask the guy, because this might go in as prepared. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. These display things are valuable. A person could totally sell those. You're not wrong, which is what I want these for. But, 
One thing I do not have is unlimited space. Very much wish I did. But I definitely don't. Let's see, these are actually some of the other pieces I'm looking for. what I was hoping to see. That's really too bad. See, these things go with these things. Right? These are the rods that support them. Unfortunately, they mate with a very specific corner post. And I'm just not seeing them in here. It's funny, those, those corner posts are the exact pieces I was looking for for my shelves at home, too. Maybe we'll find them. Oh, I see some metal somethings down there. great weight when you get them all together like that. Yeah, I don't really want to just throw them from here. Nice. That's so much for doing it quietly. One sec. But I actually came prepared. Perfect. This one's actually full. These may very well not be worth the time. But part of my goal here is leaving it better than we found it. Oh. one. This is very, very difficult. Ow. Hmm. Yeah, that was, that was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Just hit myself in the face. That thing's got really good weight, though. <laughs> well, even if we don't find the bases, I still want four of these. 
because these are exactly what I need for my shelves. I think I probably have some material lying around the house, but this way I only need to make one cut. Now, is there any way we can make some more space and get a better look at what's going on under here? Look, 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 I found a little spooter. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you're right. You just, you just keep doing what you're doing. Well, I found a couple more bits and pieces. Ooh, of steel. Unfortunately, I just don't think I'm gonna get that out of there. Like, it's theoretically possible, right? But this is just stacks and stacks and stacks of that dense, heavy MDF. Is it? I hope you can forgive me, but I just don't see it happening. Which sucks, because I looked it up, and those things are worth, like, what is it, $1,200? Is what I saw that one going for? And this one's a, uh, well, it's a lot of steps, anyway. Mm. But the amount of work it would take to get it from there to there is immense. Those are pretty cute. Hmm. Hold on. <sighs> and these crates, I know. I want them too. I think we've pretty near got it. <sighs> Not bad. Beautiful. All right. What is that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe 600 pounds. Could be better. Oh, we're doing great. Let's go. We got enough time. Just for fun. Oh. Is this one loaded? I think it is. It feels pretty heavy. Yeah. That is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I should have grabbed one of those boxes. Sometimes you just hit the bin on the right day, am I right? <sighs> I'm so glad I was able to share this with you guys. I don't even feel compelled to fight over every last little scrap of it.
I will take that. Wait, what is that? Oof. Looks like a bit of a uh, bit of cast iron with a brass flange fused to it with lead. That'll actually be fun to separate. Plastic. Of course they're plastic. I was hoping those were all chunks of aluminum. Straight plastic. Whatever. This bin? Still a win. I mean, unless you've got a hammer or a pair of uh, wire cutters, I think I've, uh, I don't think I need any help. Uh, but, uh, but to what do I owe the pleasure? Hmm? <laughs> I was making a joke. I was making levity of a uh, potentially awkward situation. Uh, I don't, I don't work for a company. I am a entrepreneur. <laughs> Hence the GoPro. Yes, no, I'm a, I'm a vlogger. Oh, okay. So, uh, so I'm out hunting for treasure. Yeah, so I'm hunting for scrap metal, and uh, it's it doesn't seem like these guys are going to need these. So, <laughs> I figured I'd uh, figured I'd grab them before they're. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a a business card. Um, but I could send you a link, or you could take a picture of the, uh, of the channel page. That'll work. Depends, what are you gonna do with it? Research it. <laughs> Research it? Yeah. Ah. I should have brought a broom, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> you promise you're not trying to charge me with any... Okay, <laughs> because I'd love to share. I have a lot of fun, and it—it uh, it is interesting. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. I'm doing it right now. There will not be a speck. You'll notice if you watch any of the videos that my motto is "Leave it better than you found it." Thank you. Yeah, let's do one of these. I don't know where you've been. <laughs> well, he seemed friendly. <laughs> A little too friendly. But you got to treat people with respect. He was treating me with respect. And it's not like I'm trying to hide anything I'm up to. <sighs> I just go around assuming that everybody's just gonna, you know, have a perfectly polite conversation and uh, express their needs and we can deal with things one-on-one. -on -one. Cause that's what I'm willing to do, but I suppose eventually that might bite me in the butt. Huh! 
We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? There. Better than we found it? Pretty much. Well, let's bounce. Jeez, that doesn't even really look like good copper. It's like tinned copper. That's gonna be really, really low grade. Might actually just leave it where it is. Well, some of this is definitely higher grade than the others. And a one. Don't worry about that. We'll get to that. Ah. You see what I mean about inventory management, though? <sighs> Don't you worry. I was planning on dealing with that together. Anyway, away we go. It's been a long time coming. Do you have any idea how nice it's gonna be to drive on that road? Have you ever seen how full of potholes it's been all the time? This is so good. It smells like trash. It, it does. What? It. Oh, come on. I know I'm going to be unhappy with the price on these, but I'm not going to get more than number three anywhere else. So, come on. You know what? There. That makes way more sense. Ugh. Now, I would love to keep these in hopes that maybe we would eventually ah, find the posts. But I get the feeling that security guy doesn't really want to see us again. Let's get rid of this. What an interesting day to end up at the scrapyard. Come on, you! Ah, that's the thumbnail. I have some concerns. Uh, I'm not sure if using the big, big, big scale is to our benefit or detriment because I know the one inside rounds to the nearest five pounds, but I haven't seen this one that's flipping between 4460 and 4440, so it's rounding to the nearest 20 pounds. I don't even know where we're supposed to park. I will park there. Let's park right here and call it good. If anybody's got a problem, I'm sure they'll let us know. <laughs> Let's go. Smile. You're on camera. You don't say. Bullets. Those are absolutely bullets. That's a lot of bullets. I've never actually seen bullets. Yeah, these are all fired bullets. They must have, they must have cleaned out like a firing range or something. Look at those. Wow, that's a lot of weight. 
They're all mixed copper and brass and lead. Yeah, things look dangerous. That's quite the snickle, Fritz. And just imagine one of those just ripping at it. We're back. And I left the receipt in the truck, but we made 73 bucks. And that was more than I was expecting out of that really, really poor grade wire. It was like 30 something dollars from the wire. And then the rest of it was the steel. So a total of like 550 pounds. Maybe it was 500 pounds. And I guess I'll never know if that scale was uh, to our benefit or not, because I don't have anything to compare it to. I didn't weigh the metal before we left. I I really hope our new friend enjoys the channel. Hi, buddy. And uh, um, that's the, the last we hear about it, other than good things. Now, there's one more thing. Mm, yeah. I don't think it's gonna happen the way I thought it was gonna happen. Oh well. <laughs> gonna need to take the saw to that if I feel like it. It's a pretty big chunk of brass, so I probably will. But that was, uh, that was unexpected. It turned out really nice. And I'm really glad you were here. The, uh, stairs, I'm going to miss them. That could have been really profitable, but, uh, eh. I, it's gonna take a lot of work to dig them out and well, thanks for pointing it out. I'll keep an eye out for stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, next time, I suppose, huh? Next time. You leave it better than you found it. And keep doing the thing.